Okay, that was weird. Well, did you know that they that most materials um, on our planet and in the universe were made out of three things: neutrons, electrons, and protons form an atom. An atom, of course, goes on to be other things, and most things are made from atoms and all that as well. So it makes you think: Are we living inside? Well, what we're made of, things we use, you know, it's the stuff of like that. And well, today on weird news. Disturbing Lego theory is making people rethink how their houses are built. Because of Lego, people are now questioning how even our own homes are built. Yeah. And also a nightmarish makeover of a house. You know, you've got them TV shows that are all like, we can change your room to make it look better. Well, this one doesn't go the way you think. Oh, oh my God, what the fuck? <sighs> Anyways, that's all to come on today's weird news. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get into this, shall we? TV show disastrously home makeover sees room looking like something from a horror film. Yeah, you ever seen them extreme makeovers? You always see them happy, don't you? Like, yeah, oh, I love my room. You never get to see the ones who uh, don't like what they get. Well, I've got one to show you today and, well, it does seem like a horror show, a horror film should be this. And she's not, and the person who got her house done... Isn't that happy? <laughs> Letting a total stranger loose in your house is a bold step and one that should be should not be taken lightly. One unfortunate family discovered the fact the most awkward way possible. Alright, so we've got a clip here. Um, hopefully it will let me show it on YouTube. If not, oh well, but you never know. Home makeover gone wrong. Wait for the teenager's room. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. It looks a lot bigger than than it was. A lot bigger. So I think it looks smaller. No, I don't at all. You don't look overly excited. Um, I don't particularly like the case. I really don't like the squirrel. What the fuck is... Big... What's with the white squirrel stuffing? What would make you think that's real? Is this real? Is this a real thing or is this a, a skit? Is it, this can't be what they've actually done. That's just creepy. Fan of the pearls. I don't like the drawers. Hmm? I don't like the mannequin. Why is there a mannequin? And I'm really, I'm very undecided about the the curtain effect. What is the curtain effect for? But other than that, yeah, I like the the bed and the carpet. And <laughs> the That's it. Steve, it's beautiful. I love it. Why does that mannequin have a collar? What the fuck is this room? <laughs> much brighter no it's not it's quite romantic but it's dark mm. so for me i'm i'm delighted i really am okay you could agree on anything anyway could you so i don't think well maybe that's not a good f sign to be married to each other or living together <laughs> just saying could ever have been a perfect solution in this room so should we go and see what jesse's room is like now uh oh yeah. here we go have a look? Yeah, really oh no oh no Off to you. thank you thank you Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh dear god. That's just trippy. Oh, you ever um, watched or seen the game Bendy and the Ink Machine? They've got this weird design of like everything is everything is drawn in to like an old cartoon, like old fe you know, felt tip drawings and all that. That's what that reminds me of and it's really disorientate, really disorientating me. Oh, so weird. I don't like that. Oh, it makes me feel sick in a weird in a weird way. Why is there two windows? Why does everything have a draw? Like, why does everyone have an outline? What the fuck? Why would they thought this was good? I like it. No, I hate it. You're not the only one. No. <laughs> I think it's just more childish than yeah. I want it to be. A lot more childish than I want it to be. Ooh. In all fairness. Nobody, none of your friends are going to have a room like this. Because she ain't going to have any fucking friends at the end of this. <laughs> oh my god. Why would they thought this was a good idea? None of them. I think that might be why she doesn't like it. Oh, the father. It's not me. I really don't think 
this is me. Fucking redo it. It's not, is it? What? I don't like that you're upset. <laughs> okay, so not thumbs up on this one, sadly. Can you change it back? That is a shame. I bet you they can't. <laughs> They're stuck with it, aren't they? Thing is, when I used to watch, when I used to actually watch like home, like makeover rooms and home design, and that, I used to think like when they did it, you're stuck with it. But yeah, I don't think she's going to have any friends to come over because she ain't got any after that. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that was so weird. I don't like it at all. Cast your mind back a few years and you might just recall a makeover show titled Your Home in Their Hands. A bit like changing rooms, it followed a uh, desperate homeowners who handed over their keys to a bunch of inexperienced interior designers to work their magic. Oh, okay, this is why then. Unsurprisingly, it often ended in tears with many couples involved seriously regretting taking part. One such family were the Dailies, who were less than pleased with the work done on their, their home. In a clip from the particular episode, Zoe and Steve can, can be seen being shown their bedroom for the first time since they let their design team in. That was their bedroom? That was so small to be their bedroom. I guess in the team got the, the master bedroom then. A fucking stuffed squirrel. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Opening their eyes, the husband is clearly not happy with the way it's gone. His lips paused and a look of disappointment in his eyes. I mean, it's not hard to see why. With a bizarre curtain effect emblazoned right around the room, a taxidermy rat slash squirrel thing and a strange mannequin in the corner. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't be able to sleep. This is so fucking weird, that squirrel. However, his partner tries to see the bright side of things, saying it looks a lot bigger than it was a lot before. You don't look overly excited, the host asks Steve. Yeah, no shit. I don't particularly like the case, he replies. I don't really like the squirrel, not a big fan of the pearls. I don't like the drawers. I don't like the mannequin. Agreed. Fucking agreed. And I really am very undecided about the curtain effect, but after than that, yeah, I like the bed and the carpet and the lamp, but this is, is a success compared to their daughter's room. Yeah, that nightmare. Opening the door into the teenager's bedroom. It's basically like being in a massive children's drawing. The interior designs have painted everything white and a huge black crayon effect outlines over everything. The windows, the wardrobes, everything. Yeah, everything. And it's safe to say their daughter's not impressed. <laughs> no, she's fucking like crying because you know she's going to have to sleep in this fucking nightmare room. <laughs> Imagine being on LSD in that room. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Welling up and stunned, Jess says, No, I hate it. I think it's just more childish than I want it to be. A lot more childish than I want it to be in all, fra in all fairness. Again, trying to find a glimmer of hope in the utter car crash, the mum jumps in telling her daughter, Nobody's... Nobody, none of your friends are going to have a room like this. None of them. Yeah, because she ain't going to have any. To the which the dad points out, I think that might be why she doesn't like it. Yeah, I reckon you're right, mate. And people online seem to agree after seeing the clip. Both rooms were like something from a horror film, said one viewer. While I never added, imagine having anxiety in the room. I would be in constant panic attack. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's why I think it was tripping me out, that room. It still is now. It's just so like, what the fuck? I, I can't tell if that's drawn. Like, I can't tell if like the wardrobe is drawn on, or if that actually is the wardrobe. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa. <laughs> and what? What's the mannequin lamps? What is with mannequins? And why? Have you ever watched Doctor Who the mannequin episode? Doesn't go well, does it? Fucking trippy though. Yeah. Whew. Well, we've run other bits of news today about your homes and housing, but more to more of a disturbing theory. Disturbing Lego theory is making people rethink how their houses are built. I bet you this is something to do with they're made out of their Lego houses are made out of Lego people. Well, yeah, it's because it's Lego. It's the product. But we'll see why people are that dumb and are freaking out over it. Lego offers the opportunity to make just about anything out of those tiny little plastic pieces. Yeah, that hurt like a fucking bitch. <laughs> From flower bouquets and, aircraft, and aircraft to helmets, helmets and culture landmarks, there's seemingly nothing that one can create with Lego. All in all, it's some harmless fun. Yeah, two of you silly people that have actually built like 
actual like working guns out of Lego and they shoot the Lego pieces at you, they fucking hurt. You, you can. Some people are really, really good at like things of like Legos. They can actually use like Legos and then the connects and all that stuff and they make like a machine out of it and it actually works. And it's like, what? However, one theory about the about what Lego houses are made of has started to really disturb some people. It's made out of them. It's made out of Lego. Mm. When an ethos to inspire and develop the buildings of tomorrow, Lego has long since been a vital part of many people's childhoods. Yeah. But this theory, which has was posted on Reddit, okay, page r slash shower thoughts, shower thoughts, oh no, not shower thoughts. It's going to be a really disturbing thought, isn't it? Has really made some people have a serious look at those found memories. The thread is simply captioned, Lego people live in a house made out of their flesh. Well, yeah. Very strange, to the point. Yeah. Considering that both Lego characters and Lego houses are made out of the same uh, components, it does appear that anyone in a Lego verse effectively lives in a home made out of the same stuff as they are. Huh. Yeah. It's not really shocking, really, is it? People just overthink things, I think. That's what it is. In short, the theories about Lego people living in Lego houses is akin to humans living in home ma in a homes made out of their own matter. Fleshy homes. Not very appealing for the prosthetic house hunter. <laughs> some even some even theorize about that about the interior would look like in real life, namely imagining a flesh door, which is pretty gross. Why would you image that? Why would you image a house made out of human material why <laughs> just no while others flipped the entire concept on its head one user commented or their flesh is made out of houses oh fuck's sake <laughs> echoing the bizarre thoughts a second added is the house made of flesh or is the or is he made of house <laughs> what <laughs> am i house or am i flesh is house flesh or is house house? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, another posed with we made of molecules and so are our houses. Yeah. And the fourth asked, aren't we all just made of dust? Well, yeah, we're made of the aftermath of the Big Bang and materials that were left over and stuff like that. That's what we're made of. So, yeah. Some drew up some comparisons with other house inhabitants who are seemingly made up of the same matter as their uh, um, abode. One Redditor user brought up how a gingerbread house also functions as a similar idea. Yeah, ginger house, gingerbread house, gingerbread man. While acknowledging that the theory was somehow both particularly ab absurd and entirely valid, this Lego um, Aphrodonio made some interesting points. Within the context of a Lego world, they explain nothing exists that is not Lego. Much like in reality, nothing exists that nothing exists that is not made of molecules and atoms. They're basically arguing that because we're made of molecules and so are our houses, we're living in houses made of humans. It's all just so many protons and neutrons and electrons when you really get down to it. Well, yeah, get down to the um, get down to like you know basics, basics. Get break down to the basics of atoms. Everything is made of atoms. So yeah, we are all made of the same stuff. It's just some things take a different route in, you know, evolution and all that. That's all it is. But yeah, thanks for that um, thought of a fleshy house. Nice. I suppose the fucking um, them home makeovers people didn't do that to the kids' room. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, that was today's weird news, everyone. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if that theory messed your head up because it really messed up mine. And if you liked that teenager's room because I didn't. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next weird news. <laughs> Ciao.